As you all know, our hot topic today is millennials and how they're transforming business travel. We have two short speakers today, Jennifer Putz and Terry Goins. Uh, Jennifer will be leading the beginning of our session and going into depth on the topic at hand. And then we have Terry, our Director of Account Management, on as well. Both of their emails are included at the bottom of the screen if you have any specific questions for either of them, either throughout the session or afterwards. If there's something you think of, go ahead and send them a question. They'd be happy to respond. Um, as I said, we do also have two guest speakers. We have Rory Felton with Air Mule and Sean Parham from Snap Inc. Rory will introduce himself a little later and talk to you more about the innovative twist that Air Mule brings to the industry. And I'll introduce Sean later as well, and we'll do a brief Q&A session with him and his perspective on the topic. So hold tight. Uh, for now, I'm going to hand things off to Jennifer, and she'll go ahead and get things started. Wonderful, thank you so much, Kayla. Thanks for having me on today, and thank you everyone for joining. Millennials have become a popular topic across many different industries in, re in recent years. Um, we've all seen the topic appear in news articles, on TV, across social media, and in everyday conversation. So the millennial generation's everywhere, and they're definitely changing the game in today's workforce, but their impact on travel is no, no exception to the rule. Millennials have recently surpassed baby boomers as the largest living generation. It consists of those individuals that were born between eight, 1982 and 2002, and it's made up of about 81 million people, many of which who have already entered college and the workforce. Um, this group of individuals, by, de by definition, is intrinsically tech-savvy and socially-minded. And according to the 2015 GBTA Business Traveler Sentiment Index, they're nearly twice as likely to want to travel more for business than the baby boomers were. This desire for travel is the reason that the Boston Consultant Group is predicting that by 2020, millennials will account for close to 50% of all business travel spending. But why are we talking about millennials today? This is relevant to companies for many different reasons. First of all, giving employees, especially those who fall under this millennial category, certain freedoms like mixing leisure travel with business travel or awarding them flexible hours, allowing them to work in the evenings and engage in those leisure activities during traditional working hours, creates a culture of engagement and increased loyalty to an organization. Second, a positive travel experience will offset the negative effects on family life. Most millennial business travelers say that travel does have a positive impact on their job satisfaction. However, over half of them say that business travel has a negative impact on their family life. This is a new challenge for employers compared to the Gen X and the baby boomer generations. The millennial group's busy juggling work, new marriages, and even children. So creating this positive travel experience gives them more time to focus on those responsibilities and less time dealing with the headaches that can come with travel. So let's go ahead and key in on a couple things that the millennial group is looking for. Rideshare services. Millennials love variety and they rarely carry cash. Because of this, they're more likely to use services like Airbnb or Lyft. Actually, 81% of millennials prefer to use ride sharing over taxis, according to a Skift article. Room sharing is also a popular trend among the millennials. Similar to ride sharing, these options offer a lot of variety, and with seamless expensing options with business profiles, it makes paying for their overnight stay easier than ever, no matter where they decide to stay. Despite their technological inclinations, millennials do still prefer to meet face-to-face. -face. They believe in the significance of meeting in person and its importance in helping businesses grow, develop, and sustain customer relationships. Millennials also want to have options available 24-7. These options aren't limited to just how they book their travel, but even how they spend their time when they are out traveling. Leisure is a term that was created due to many of these individuals incorporating those elements of play into business trips by either extending their stay or mixing leisure activities into their work itineraries. The leisure concept is extremely significant. About 70% of travelers say it's important to have the option to extend their business trip for leisure. And arguably the most important um, experience for millennials is that seamless mobile experience. As mentioned earlier, millennials are intrinsically tech savvy. They understand and they enjoy using technology to stay connected. 
So whether it be to review flight itineraries or to post details about their trip to social media, they need to have these mobile applications working together in real time to enjoy that positive experience. So what can companies do to cater to the millennial group? We went ahead and put together a few ideas for you today. First, pay for additional conveniences that improve the millennial traveler experience, such as TSA PreCheck to speed up the security screening process, or pay for Wi-Fi to allow their travelers to take advantage of their time in the airport, completing any time-sensitive work before they even get to their hotel. This allows them the flexibility to enjoy their time in a new city, maybe meet up with, new, with some old friends, or just relax once they get to their destination. Companies also need to make sure they're considering the diverse needs of business travelers. To do this, provide different options for boomers, Gen Xers, and millennials, which helps them cater to each generation's opinion of what the travel experience should look like. And lastly, review travel policies. I've already talked a little bit today that business travel can have a positive impact on job satisfaction when it's managed correctly. So take a look at your policy. Does it allow employees to mix business travel with leisure? Within those acceptable guidelines, of course. Use the leisure concept to empower employees with a flexible, seamless, and tailored experience to gain happy, well-rested, and more productive employees. It's no secret that happy employees are more loyal, which makes for good business. So use that to your advantage. With that, I'm going to go ahead and hand it back to Kayla. Again, thank you so much for allowing me to participate in this month's Travel Talk. Perfect. Thanks, Jennifer. I will go ahead and mute you. And Sean, I am hoping you are still there. Can you hear me? I can. Thank you. Perfect. All right. So um, with that, thank you, Jennifer, again. Um, but we'd now like to gain some insight from the company perspective. Uh, as I mentioned, we invited Sean Parham from Snap Inc., who has so kindly agreed to give us a few minutes of his time to talk about some trends he's seeing with millennials and any initiatives that they have in place at Snap. Um, as a quick introduction, Sean is the global travel ninja at Snap Inc., the makers of Snapchat. He attended the University of Memphis, which is a shorts travel client, by the way, and uh, currently lives in the Los Angeles area. He got his start almost 30 years ago as a ticket courier with a Memphis-based travel management company and has since worked as an agent for American Express Travel, a senior travel consultant with St. Jude Children's Research Hospital, the travel manager at Guess, and most recently as the travel wizard at Riot Games before moving to Snap. Sean has served on the board of directors of the LA Business Travel Association from 2006 to 2016, including two terms as president, and he currently serves on Delta Airlines Technology Advisory Board. So um, again, Sean, one last time, thank you so much for joining us today. Um, obviously, as you know, millennials have become quite the hot topic in the travel industry. So um, I'm just gonna jump right in and we can start um, with some of these questions that we have um, for you. Sure. So um, first off, what initiatives do you currently have in place around millennials? Well, so, so it's, it, you know, it's, it's all about customization, right? So that, that's really what it comes down to in the millennial um, travel management area. So right now, the, the thing that I'm working on is just engagement. Um, and the whole leisure thing is, is a big deal. So, um, a lot of the airline contracts that I work on or a lot of the hotel contracts or pretty much any supplier contract that I work on, I make sure that there is some aspect of leisure worked into that so that they can, they can take advantage of it from um, both a personal and from a business side. So that's a little challenging, um, you know, for some of the airlines, they, they kind of scoff at it, um, but they're, they're starting to come online. Um, I know Google has done that in the past and some of the other big ones have done that. So that's one of the things I'm working on right now is just kind of blending uh, those together. Mm -hmm. And why do you think millennials have become so relevant in the corporate world? Well, I mean, obviously because there's so many of them, right? Um, but also just because I think that there is, you know, there's, there's this whole thing about entitlement um, and that they're kind of, you know, there's that, that stereotype that they're kind of lazy. And that's not actually true at all. Um, they tend to work really hard, but they also play hard and they don't go conventional on their hours. So this is my second millennial company to work for. 
in, in the last couple of years. Um, the average age of my, my employee is 26. Uh, the company prior is 24, so they're getting a little bit older. Uh, but they do. They work, they work hard. They play hard. Um, they work weird hours. Uh, you'll, you'll see them, you know, they'll maybe in the middle of the day, they're, you know, playing a video game or, you know, they're hanging out at Starbucks or whatever, but they're going to work till late in the night. I mean, it's, it's really bizarre. They, they work on the fly. They are very mobile. Um, but so I think that's, that's part of it is that they do work hard and, and then you can't expect a lot from them. Well, I think you made the millennials on the call happy. So, um, you, <laughs> you alluded to a few things there, but, um, what do you see as the biggest differences between the millennial group and previous generations, um, specifically in regards to travel? Well, so in regards to travel, the, the, probably the biggest challenge for me has been that I see that they, they want, they, they want, again, they want to, they want to blend the leisure and, and the business, right? But they also expect customization. They, they expect the, the the business apps and the and the business programs to reflect what they see on the consumer side and unfortunately for a lot of us in the management side that's not quite happening right so um they expect that they expect that same type of experience they, they want that customization uh i had a conversation just a couple of weeks ago with the tmc that you know was talking about well, how can they get in front of these people how how can they get them engaged how can they get them to use their mobile app and the key really in my mind is branding. It's not about, it's not about putting your logo, um, you know, putting my logo on your brand, on your mobile app. It's about changing the skins, changing the colors, making it look like my company. Uh, they're more apt to run into that, right? But also to integrate other things. So one of the things that they like about the world right now is that, you know, all the social media stuff can be fed into things. And so that's, they, they want to be able to touch everything at once and they want to be able to customize it. And I don't see that from previous generations. We didn't even have that ability. I mean, I didn't have a cell phone, you know, until I was what, 20 something. So I, I, they're, they're very mobile. They want to customize. Um, and, and they want to be able to do the leisure and the, and the business at the same time. And so you again, you kind of mentioned mobile apps there, but um, what are some of the specific technologies that millennials are looking for or that you've seen that they're using in travel? Uh, well, they, they like the aggregators, right? So, you know, things like Kayak, Hipmunk, um, things like that, they, they really, they do a lot of that. Um, they, they like anything where there's a chat feature. So uh, a lot of companies are using Slack now. Um, so that, that's, you know, that's another big thing that they, they enjoy, um, with, with their travel. So I know that Concur is actually looking to pilot using Slack within Concur, which was, is an awesome idea actually. Um, because again, they, they want to be able to do, they want to multitask, right? So they, they need to multitask. So they're, they're looking for apps where they can multitask. Um, they are very loyal though, too. Um, one of the things I've noticed is that they, they, brand loyalty is really important to them. Those are those reward points that they get from an airline or from a hotel. Those mean a lot to them, and they will they'll go out of their way to stay with an airline or stay with us, you know, with an alliance or a hotel group so they can get those points. So they do go for for you know supplier specific apps, but they also like those aggregators out there too. Um, and how do you feel that uh, millennials are impacting your travel policy? <laughs> how are they not impacting <laughs> travel policy? Um, again, it's it's a huge challenge, right? Because they they do want to do what they want to do, and there's you know they they kind of um, force the industry to change. Um, we talk about disruptors in the industry. You know, obviously Uber is a disruptor, and Airbnb are, are disruptors. Millennials in general are a disruptor because they're forcing us to to think outside of the box and they're forcing us to to change the way that we manage travel. Um, the whole concept of open booking, you know, that's really coming from them because they are forcing us to to do things. Um, I recently had a conversation with a, a TMC that talked about the fact that they were they were actually bringing in content from other um, companies like Expedia into their into their booking tool because they knew they couldn't compete anymore. You know, so it's, they're, they're, they're forcing the policies to go outside of, of the standard. So it's, 
it is it is it can be frustrating um it can be very challenging but at the same time you know what i, I like i like a good challenge so it, it's good stuff um and, and it's really interesting the the feedback that you get from them though because they they're very quick to respond they they like to give you real-time feedback so one of the things i have in place and i'm very lucky because i work for a, a technology company um, but i actually have a snap um, um, account specifically for travel and people within my company can Snapchat to me when they're unhappy or when they're happy or when they think there's something we should do better or something that, hey, this is something new you should try or here's a hotel you should try. So the line of communication is really important and it, it helps to drive the policy. So I did have one question that came through. Um, you had mentioned the Slack app and um, yeah. one of our viewers was hoping you could elaborate about that a little bit more about what it is and what it does oh sure so so slack is slack is just a it's a chat app um, you know kind of like if, if anyone is familiar with Google Hangouts um, you know uh, Facebook Messenger would be the consumer side right um, so slack is um, pretty well known in the tech circles and it's a, it's a chatting um, app or chatting feature it can actually be on a desktop as well and the, the great thing about it is that you have the ability to um, insert documents and PowerPoint slides and things like that. So you can actually use it for project building. Excuse me. Um, you can also have it for um, groups. You can create you know groups within it. So it's it's actually a, it's S L A C K. Um, it's pretty pretty robust. Um, and they are looking at doing a pilot group with Concur where it would actually be built into the Concur and so you would be able to um, to chat in real time. One of the things that, that I'd like to see coming from, from TMCs and, and from the booking engines in the future is um, you know, the chat feature or the text to book feature from, um, because a lot of my people, they don't have time to talk on the phone, they don't wanna talk on the phone. And so they just wanna, they wanna you know, chat it to you or they wanna, be able to um, text it to you. Email's dead. I mean, I'll, I'll be honest. I mean, that that is so archaic. Um, most of the things that I get in a day-to-day -day basis at Snap come in the form of chats or text messages. It can be challenging. Um, the good thing about Slack is that I can capture that data. I can. There's a history, so it's it's like a it's like an email, but it's a real-time email. So it's it's constantly being updated. Does that answer the question? Yes, <laughs> I definitely. Know, I, ram I ramble. I ramble. <laughs> Um, and finally, what is your advice for companies that are on today uh, that are looking to create more of a seamless experience with their online tools? Well, so I think, it, so the one, the, I, mean, I already mentioned this, um, one of the key things that I would like to see, and nobody's done this yet, is the branding. So, you know, brand, brand, your, brand your tool to look like your client. You know, change your color scheme. You know, just make it so the skins can be. I know it's kind of an API kind of thing. They had to build it out or whatever. But you know, change the change the skins. Make it look like the company. Be customizable. Be open to um, to the changes. Be able to integrate other things into your tools. Um, you know, if if they want to have a chat feature, um, if you know, if they want to, I don't know, Yelp or if they want to put Yelp in there. Um, rating systems are really good. You know, I think Concur brought back um, ratings. Um, within the hotel piece, and that's a good thing. They, they like to see what their peers think. They want to know what other people think. It, it really influences them. So the ability to to capture that feedback and and display it for them and have reviews for them to read, it's really helpful. Um, a couple of years back at a, a previous company, I was actually able to drive change in my car program, my rental car program, by allowing a conversation to happen within the population about what car companies they prefer. And it was actually able to decide on who to use. Um, in the companies that I work for now, rental cars are not much of a, of a thing. We don't really see those. But in previous companies, yeah, it, it's kind of a way to, to drive that, that. That peer pressure still works very well. Mm -hmm. Um, that's a, it for the questions that I have for you, Sean. Is there anything else you okay. want to add or address before we let you off the hook? <laughs> um, no, I, 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 I think I covered it all. Okay, perfect. If you want to stay on, um, if anyone has any questions, we can address those at the end for Sean, uh, specifically to him. Yeah, Otherwise, sure. keep, keep submitting any of your other questions. Um, but we're going to move on here. 
Uh, so I'm going to pass it over to Terry. Terry, hopefully you are still on. Can you hear me, Terry? I can. Can you hear me? Yes, and I will go ahead and hand it over to you. Perfect. Thanks, everybody, again for joining. Um, I'm just going to touch a little bit on shorts, um, you know, kind of to tie this in. A key piece um, to providing millennials innovative solutions that keep them engaged and, and within the travel part the policy is partnering with a TMC who keeps their pulse on the industry. Um, at Shorts, we not only partner with innovative providers, but we are also developing our own proprietary solutions. And some of those technologies um, include STO, which is Shorts Travel Online, our online booking tool. Um, we recently added hotel rates and availability from Priceline and Booking.com giving clients access to more than 540,000 hotels worldwide, which I think kind of ties nicely to what Sean had kind of alluded to of bringing in other services and, and products for the millennials. Um, Shorts has also developed Find It, allowing travelers to select flights or hotels from the website of their choice. And Find It will check the reservation against corporate discounts to verify they're getting the best rate and are still within your travel program and then email you those results. And then with our focus on innovation, Shorts not only um, has the opportunity to work with our clients, but we work with many companies that are thinking outside the box when it comes to travel. And that allows us to introduce new products and services to our clients regularly. A few of those top innovative companies that have captured the attention of Shorts include Fairfly, which maximizes savings by tracking flights after booking, Freebird, who empowers travelers to book a new ticket with the click of a button in the case of a cancellation or delay at no additional cost to the traveler. Rideshare services, um, such as Lyft and Uber, which were also mentioned earlier. And then Airmule, who's joined us today to talk about how they're transforming business travel. Um, Rory, I will let you go ahead and tell us what Airmule is all about. Maybe. Uh. <laughs> there we go. Okay. So thank you guys for having me. Again, my name is Rory Felton. I'm the co-founder and president of Airmule. Airmule enables travelers to sell their luggage space to TSA certified shipping companies. We work with travelers in two ways. One, if you've already booked your travel in the way that you want to, you can list your trip with us and essentially sell your checked luggage space that your airline gives you when you travel. Uh, if you haven't booked your flight, you can actually book a highly discounted trip through us or round trip airfare with the savings already sort of built into the retail price. So for example, right now we're selling round trip tickets from Los Angeles to China for $300. Uh, moving forward to the next slide. So we all know travel is very expensive. It's typically the airfare is the number one cost associated with international travel. The U.S. Department of Commerce says that it's right now over $1,200 for, on average, for an international round trip ticket. It's expensive, both for small and medium-sized businesses, individuals, and even large companies. So, Airmeal solves that by enabling travelers to obviously make money when they fly, or in a sense, sort of bringing down the cost of their travel, sometimes for free. What we're seeing here is a quick demo of what it's like to list a trip on airmeal.com. Again, this works on mobile as well as desktop. You basically just put in your flight details, where you're flying from, where you're flying to, what airline, your flight number, confirmation code so that we can confirm you're flying. And then you let us know how many check bags you want to sell. So right now you can make $150 per check bag. So if you were to sell two there and two on your way back, that can make up to $600. Um, and here you just confirm your details and you're finished. Um, we will send you an email confirmation when your luggage has been sold and we'll reach out to you to arrange how we get the luggage to you. So right now we bring the luggage to you at your airport, uh, at the airport when you depart and we pick it up from you at your destination airport. So your, your total work as a traveler is less than typically half an hour and for a $300 to $600 payment on a round trip, we think it's a pretty good deal. Go on to the next slide. So here's why our solution has been working for the last couple of years. One, as I mentioned, travelers are making uh, $300 to $600 per round trip. Uh, we're reducing shipping costs for our TSA certified shipping company partners by up to 70%. And it speeds up delivery time against uh, traditional air cargo by 2 to 3x. Um, so as I mentioned, we pay travelers $150 per checked luggage. 
Uh, a lot of international flights will give you two, some give you one. Uh, we've even seen some travelers buy that second luggage space sometimes for 80 or $100 and then turn around and sell that for 150 So that's also an option as well. Uh, right now in our main channel between US and China, every airline gives you two checked luggage. So that can be the opportunity to make up to $300 each way. We have over 25,000 travelers on our platform to date, 90% uh, of which are considered in the millennial bracket, approximately, um, and 65% of them are traveling for work. So all these people are going to China for, um, be it, you know, uh, they work in apparel manufacturing or technology, um, they travel light, they typically only have a carry-on, and they see air mule as a very easy way to make extra money while they travel. And we're starting to talk with businesses about how we can help the businesses participate in this revenue made, thus bringing down their own costs associated with travel. Uh, we've delivered over 100,000 packages to date. These are just a quick snapshot of some of our travelers, and our loss rate is very, very, very low. We've won some awards and accolades. Uh, most recently, we won first place in the largest entrepreneurship competition in China. And we also won a People's Choice Award at the Focus Right uh, Travel Technology Conference. Uh, a lot of different media outlets, including Forbes, Lonely Planet, Travel Leisure, and Condé Nast Traveler have all said some really nice things about us. And we invite you guys to list your trip next time you fly and start earning money with your unused luggage space. Thank you. Thanks, Rory. We did have one quick question um, asking about, and, and we are tight on time here, so we'll just address this one for now, but asking about how Airmule works with uh, TSA. Sure. So uh, all shipping companies that buy air cargo space on commercial flights have to be certified by the TSA. There's a couple different certifications. The main one is called an indirect air courier. Every shipping company we work with is known by the TSA. Uh, the shipping company has to inspect and verify all shipments um, in a way that the TSA uh, approves of. And, and then in addition, we also inspect and verify and certify every single shipment prior to handoff to the traveler. And the traveler also has the opportunity to inspect everything before they fly with it. And then we did have one question. Um, Terry, I will go ahead and unmute you. Asked if Airmule can be used with the shorts booking portal. Yeah, um, it's not currently integrated on our portal, but it's definitely something that we've discussed and are, and are looking at. And, um, and that's one of the reasons that Airmule's on the call today is because we're, we're partnering with them. And um, so it, it could be done, uh, is what I would like to say. <laughs> it's just not currently. Perfect. All right, and that is um, a wrap. So thank you so much to all of our guest speakers, um, short speakers, everyone who has attended to view. Thank you so much for joining. Um, just a brief look at our travel talk next month. It'll be about group travel. Um, our website at the bottom here, shortstravelmanagement.com backslash happenings. This includes all of our travel talk information, so it'll include links, slide decks, everything along those lines that you could possibly need. So again, thank you to everyone for joining. Um, special thanks to our guest speakers, Rory and Sean, and to the rest of you for taking time out of your day to join our travel talk. We hope to have you back next month. Thanks. <laughs>